Hello, I'm Sarah Ewing. I'm Senior Membership Associate for AICHE. I'm here today with four of our 2017 Student Chapter International Travel Grant winners. Um, this award um, helps us facilitate the participation and leadership development of our future student chapter leaders from around the world. And this award is made possible by the AICHE Foundation's Doing the World campaign. So uh, let's get started. How about each of you tell me your name and where you're from? Hello, I'm Ahmed uh, from Egypt, Cairo University. Hi, I'm Camila. I'm from Colombia and I'm studying chemical engineering in National University of Colombia in Bogota. Hello, my name is Shi Zhang. I'm from Tianjin University in China. Uh, hi, I am Selim. I am from Turkey. Uh, at I'm studying at Koch University. Uh, my major is chemical engineering, but I also make double major with business administration. Great, so impressive. It's so great to see all of you from different areas of the world all here today. So it's very exciting. Um, so it's Monday, which means you've been at the annual student conference for about three days now. I know you've been to a lot of events, um, yeah. but can you tell me what's been your favorite so far? Uh, how about we start with Celine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think this is uh, this is a great opportunity for all of us because we have met lots of uh, authorities and we have uh, learned different things for uh, from each of them. But especially, I want to mention Bernard Harris because um, he shows us how the dreams uh, come true with education. And I I'm thinking that uh, when I will be at the edge of giving giving up something. Um, I'm going to remind myself his words, his sentences, which is, I am an infinite being with infinite opportunities. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I think my favorite part, it must be the chemical competition. Mm -hmm. You know, I took part in the competition yesterday and our team won two grand prize. We are very happy. But I think it's not the most important. What is the most important, I think, is uh, we prepare the competition for six months and we communicate with other teams about our class. I think we learn a lot in the process. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a big commitment yeah. and a lot of learning along the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, my favorite part was the recruitment fair because mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to know about uh, American universities uh, discover master's and PhD programs and actually, uh, the next year, I'm going to do a um, project about emulsion polymerization. And in the fair, um, I got the contact email and telephone number for different professors um, specialized in that area. And it was interesting uh, because maybe I can send them an, an email mm -hmm. and contact them. Hmm, that's great. I'm so glad that you made those connections. Yes, so great. Okay. Actually, it's a very hard question. Uh -huh. And first of all, I'm, I'm glad that I am now a friend with the most prom promising leaders, young leaders in the yes. country. And thank you guys and thank, <laughs> thanks to ASHE that, that gave me that opportunity. And the other, the other thing that keynote speech of uh, Bernard Harris, as uh, Selin uh, mentioned, mm -hmm. and of course the recruitment fair I made like tons of connections because mm -hmm. I'm like an ambassador for my university so I'm gonna pass the information to them so mm -hmm. they can apply and I can apply myself mm -hmm. so it's a great opportunity for like personality I met friends and mm -hmm. actually in a professional way mm -hmm. yeah that's great lots of networking opportunities yeah. <laughs> thanks for sure all right so um so switching gears so deciding what to study um when you're graduating high school and getting ready to go to university can be a very difficult decision um, what inspired all of you to choose chemical engineering um, as what you wanted to study? Oh, it's a lot actually, but I'm I'm always fascinated by by magic or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about chemical engineering, it's always about uh, conversion. Okay, so uh, for example, when I talk, when I when I ask you uh, what this wall is made of, so it will tell me sometimes it's bricks and some cement, some gypsum and some other <laughs> components. You know that, you know, you know what actually it's made of. In chemical engineering, it's totally different. And I give you a, a, like a product, chemical product, and I tell you, can you figure out what's made of? So you will, no, I don't know. It's just, mm -hmm. maybe it's like, like a, a white liquid or, or like mm -hmm. something solid, so you don't know. So mm -hmm. it's about the idea of conversion. You are like a magician. 
So mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's what inspired me to join chemical engineering. Um, there are a lot other reasons, but that was the, the best reason for me when when I was young. Okay. That's it. Good. Okay. Yeah. Want to know all about those magical reactions? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Okay. Okay, my answer is short. I think the world needs peop uh, someone who works to improve the quality mm -hmm. of people's life. And I always have loved the idea that I, I can be part of this, of, of that group of persons. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I was very young, I got to know about the chemistry. And I started to study the subject chemistry from my uh, junior high school uh, and after graduating from the senior high school I got to know about the chemical engineering I think uh, in my opinion it is what uh, what we learn in chemistry uh, into practice I think chemistry is a is a magical subject because it can change one thing into another different one mm -hmm. so but but chemical engineering uh, I think is more useful uh, it can change our world and our daily life I chose this. Okay. Uh, I think the chemical engineering includes all of the other and all of the other engineering areas in its structure. Mm -hmm. um, as chemical engineers, I think we have the knowledge of the uh, technical knowledge of the chemistry, biochemistry, material mm -hmm. science, uh, engineering, and the technology. But at the same time, we have also know um, economics, management, environment, and safety. I think these are the tools of the chemical engineers, and mm -hmm. I want to use these tools to improve uh, humans' life. Great. Very inspiring, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, so all of you are still students now. I think you have about a year or so left of yeah. your undergrad yeah. degree. Um, do you have any idea what you plan to do after you graduate? Um, actually, I'm interested in research and uh, development part of the companies. I think um, I will enter in, I will enter the industry after okay. I graduate. Okay. Maybe FMCG or pharmaceutical companies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not quite sure, but I think I should continue my study, and then I would like to do education work because mm -hmm. I think I would like to make more and more students to join us, join the family of mm -hmm. chemical engineers. That's great. Okay. <laughs> First. Um, um, I would like to work in a company, mm -hmm. yeah, to have contact with the industry. Um, later, I would like to continue my studies. Mm -hmm. uh, but Saturday, I talked with Bond Kalui, mm -hmm. and he suggested to me uh, to keep continue, uh, to keep studying, sorry, mm -hmm. um, after my graduation. Mm -hmm. And uh, well. He's the president of the ASCHE, and yeah. <laughs> I think he knows. Um, probably, um, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah continue. continue study. Yeah, okay. maybe um, doing a master or PhD after mm -hmm. my graduation about mm -hmm. I don't know uh, polymerization mm -hmm. or nanotechnology. Mm -hmm. I, I like. Actually, I have plans before the conference, but I have to update them after oh, the conference okay. because, then, like I was talking about, the tons of opportunities. Uh, I, I wanted to uh, join the industry, and I tried to uh, learn about business. Uh, I'm now uh, studying micro masters in supply chain management from MIT as an online student. A lot of other online uh, programs, but actually, after getting into the conference and meeting the the graduate schools, I'm. I th I'm thinking uh, I will give it like a try to uh, think about the graduate schools, especially here in the US, because it's it's kind of promising and it's kind of great, you know. I, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm thinking now about how to get uh, all of these connected, you know, supply mm -hmm. chain management, chemical engineering, graduate school, industry. I'll try to figure it out, figure it out. But the conference gave me like another perspective for my future, mm -hmm. and that's great. That's, that's so great. great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad that all of you had such a wonderful time. Yeah, thank <laughs> and I can't you. wait to see what you're going to do moving forward. I know all of you have very bright futures ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. So it's been fun getting to know some of the Travel Grant awardees this year. I wish you all a fun um, rest of the uh, rest of your time here in Minneapolis, and please enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.